Wow. You want to know something? I am honestly so speechless right now that I can't even properly convey my introduction here for my usual videos. And what's even more crazy about this is that I don't even know whether to come at you guys in this video as being my character Mega Crasher or come at you guys as being myself because this is somewhat of a serious issue that I want to bring to your guys' attention. So I think I'm going to go ahead and keep it simple and I'm going to be completely out of character here in this video because this is a pretty major issue that I feel like uh, we should discuss and uh, also share around and it just so happens I'm on an article from polygon.com and it talks about early Pokemon Sun and Moon players slapped with bans from Nintendo so basically what is going on here is that there are players that are being banned from uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon online features for having early access to the game and I just gotta say, wow, like, this this is honestly crazy. So, let's just go ahead and scroll down here. Like, I've, I've read this article, uh, you know, a little bit, and I'm, I'm still trying to soak everything in that's happening right now. Like, I'm not speechless as in, like, you know, like, oh my god, like, wh what a terrible thing to have happen. I'm speechless as in the fact that, like, like the, 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 these people that have illegal copies of... Uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon before its initial release date are actually being punished and uh, What the punishment is we're about to find out here in this article Hopefully leaked copies of Pokemon Sun and Moon have been in players hands for at least a week now But players are only just finding themselves getting dinged by Nintendo for playing the games ahead of their official November 18th release the company is reportedly cutting off users with ROMs from online access, according to several posters across Reddit and 4chan. So these are actually like downloaded games, like if I, if I'm uh, if I'm correct here, like ROMs, right? Like you know ROM hacks and all that stuff. So so basically, these are uh, like pirated, I guess, versions of Pokemon Sun and Moon. And pirating is just straight up illegal. Like you hear all the time about how movies and games get pirated and Pokemon Sun and Moon just unfortunately happen to have fallen into that category and I just gotta say man like the I, I, don't, I don't blame the company for being as pissed off as they are man because this is Pokemon Sun and Moon okay we've waited three years between Generation 6 and Generation 7 for there to be uh, new main series games I mean I'm not gonna count the remakes of uh, you know, the, the third generation remakes, but, you know, we could include those two if, uh, if we're going to be technical here. But basically, it, it, it doesn't matter. The, the time gap is that these games have been worked on really hard, as uh, is with every other game that comes from Nintendo uh, and Pokemon and all that stuff. And, you know, just the fact that, you know, people were pirating these games and actually releasing leaked footage online of the gameplay and not to mention spoiling everybody that had accidentally clicked on that video and also the thumbnails were also a dead giveaway of what was happening in the game like I just gotta say like you know if you're gonna be pirating games and you're gonna be flashing it around online then sorry to sound like a douchebag but it serves you right to be quite honest with you it, it really does because you know not only are you illegally obtaining uh, access to a pre-release game it's not even pre-release like it's not release period you know you're, you're obtaining a game that you have no business obtaining right uh, before its initial release date and you're not even paying for the bloody thing so you know and like it's, it's honestly it's like it, it's kind of satisfying to see uh, I'm, it's kind of satisfying to see karma, you know, have its way here in this situation. I mean, I'm not trying to be a douchebag or anything like that, but but honestly though, man, if, if you're going to be uh, pirating these games, you know, uh, costing companies monies and all that stuff, uh, as well as leaking online footage and having people spoiled, then, you know, you're, you're kind of doing a douchey thing that way. I mean, don't, don't, don't you think here? I mean, being completely objective here, and I'm being nice, okay? An image bearing an error code displayed on a Nintendo 3DS system is making the rounds on both forums issued as a warning to the Pokemon community uh, from those now facing the online ban. And if we can go ahead and we see right here, uh, we see error error code uh, 002, that, like you can already see that. And you see the screenshot right here. Z this device access to online services has been restricted by Nintendo. For help, visit support.nintendo.com. So... There you go, there's some uh, proof right there. Uh, so let's go ahead and see 
What else is here? Uh, this device access uh, to online service has been restricted by Nintendo. The message reads, the error popped up for one of the Reddit users after using the Wonder Trade feature in Sun and Moon's Festival Plaza multiplayer mode. The rest of the note instructs the user to visit Nintendo's support site for help. Although looking up uh, the error code suggests to call the customer service is the only way to get help. It is unclear how many people are phoning Nintendo right now asking for their bans to be rescinded, but plenty of forum users are making their unhappiness unknown. Uh, I think they meant to say uh, are making their uh, unhappiness known. Might be a little typo there, which, you know, it happens. Whatever, that's all good. Uh, and we have someone right here who says, What the fuck was Nintendo thinking? Okay, well, allow me to, uh, to ask you a question, and don't answer this, it's a rhetorical question. What the fuck were you thinking, making, you know, making the fact that you made, uh, had access to a game, pirated, I might add, and then you got caught? What the fuck were you thinking? Like, again, it's like, I, like, I'm not trying to sound like a douchebag here, but, like, Jesus Christ, man, like, you are, like, you, you're honestly, you honestly act like you're surprised? Right? You honestly act like that you're surprised that uh, you got banned. Honestly, a hell of a lot of worse things could have happened, okay? Like, you committed a crime, okay? You stole money, you obtained uh, access of a game that you had no business obtaining, and you done so through an illegal method. And back to the whole stolen money thing, is that these games cost money. You got it for free. So you're essentially stealing money and products out of Nintendo's back pocket. Like, do you, do, you, do you see where I'm going with this here, man? Like, seriously. Uh, anyways, we go, uh, we go right here. Uh, so it says, I am banned and can't access anything, not even the eShop. I will never buy anything from Nintendo again. Fuck them. Okay. Okay. So, obviously, this person's in fucking some sort of, like, power trip or some sort of ego trip thinking, oh my god. I, I committed a, a, a crime. I did something real bad. How dare I get punished? Bruh. Really? Really? I just, I, 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 I don't, I don't even know how to react to that anymore. I really don't. Uh, so let's, let's just move on from that before I say something that, uh, you know, I either don't mean to say or whatever. Let's see here. A few Reddit posters corroborated this claim, albeit in a much calmer manner. At this point, all we can hope to do is that there are temporary bans, said another player who has been kicked out of Nintendo's online features. But the thing is, though, is that you 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 gained early access to a game you had no business getting access to until the initial release date, and you didn't have to pay money for it. You pirated the game. Like... You know, sure, like you, you were, you were nice enough to handle it in a much calmer manner. But honestly, it's like, come on, man. Like seriously, you know, th there's nothing in life is for free. I mean, even the freemium games. I mean, sure, it's technically free, but it's like a pay-to-win kind of thing, kind of like Pokemon Go, for example. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, is that, you know, when it comes to things like Pokemon Sun and Moon or anything for that matter that you gotta pay money for. You know, you, 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 you can't you can't just like weasel your way in and, and think that uh, you can uh, get a free handout when that's not how it works. It, that's not how it works. And uh, the thing of it is, is like I heard uh, a rumor and I'm, I'm com not going to be confirming this 100%. Please take what I'm about to say with a pinch of salt. Uh, you know, just what I heard anyways. And this is what I heard that apparently there's some people that actually had uh, early access to the game from Nintendo uh, as sort of like a way to promote the game or something like that. Uh, but again, I'm not 100% sure, so please don't quote me on that. Uh, could be a rumor that has no, uh, no grounds to stand on whatsoever. Uh, this is why when you get a leaked game, you don't mess with online. So basically, meaning in translation, if you are to get an elite, if you were to get a game illegally and you post about that shit online, y you know, like that, that, that right there, like you're, you're, you're essentially putting the handcuffs on yourself. You're putting the handcuffs on yourself, man. I mean, I, I don't, I don't know. Like, I really don't even know. You know, this is, this is crazy. So let's see right here. Uh, most of uh, most other users on 4chan and Reddit are unsympathetic, though. It's not surprising that Nintendo would attempt to shut down players who already have one of the biggest, one of the year's biggest games ahead of schedule, especially when many of them have already uploaded Sun and Moon content online. 
with the new pair of Pokemon Adventures already out for several days now. It is in fact a bit surprising that it's taken this long for Nintendo to start levying the Banhammer, but connecting to online multiplier sounds like the Death ne Death Neil? Death Neil? I- <laughs> oh man. Uh... I, I, I kind of suck at pronouncing some words sometimes, you know, and I just got off a 12-hour shift. My brain's a little bit tired. Give me a break. <laughs> but, like, like, okay, here's the thing. It's like, yes, it may have taken a little bit of time for Nintendo to get around to doing this, but maybe this was one of the issues that Nintendo... It's sort of like maybe Nintendo had like a whole bunch of like other issues to contend to and maybe they didn't realize that this was an issue until it actually they actually got to this complaint right here and then they did what they had to do. That that, that would be my best guess. Um, so let's see here. What, what else we got going on here? Uh, one poster responded to say as much, you're fucking whining about the fact that you can't get uh, online on your 3DS anymore. They wrote, after you practically steal a game without paying for it and think nothing will happen to you after you go online with it before its release date because you thought it'd be fun to try and find the few people who have the game with you. Fucking stop, they added. And you, you, you <laughs> they're, they're right. They're, they're right, man. It's like, it's, it's, it's honestly no different than breaking into a store. And I know this might sound like an extreme comparison, but check me out, okay? Because technically speaking, this is stolen content. This is stolen product, okay? It'd be no different than you going into a store and walking out with, uh, with you know, say, a, a new watch that you didn't pay for or some jewelry that you stole and didn't pay for and you got caught because you yelled out on a megaphone. It's like, yeah, I just, I went ahead and stole a bunch of jewelry from diamonds and things. Uh, yeah, um, I'm cool. Uh, please don't arrest me. What do you think's gonna happen? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. I honestly don't even know. Uh, we reached out to Nintendo about the cause and length of these bans, which don't appear to be permanent. Uh, Pokemon fans are encouraged to wait, uh, wait it out until this Friday to play Sun and Moon, which we concluded are well worth the wait in our review. And we have an update here. We have actually an update from Nintendo. Nintendo confirmed a plug on that players have been banned for going online ahead of its launch. So, are they going to be unbanned when, uh, when the launch happens? That doesn't seem like a very, uh, very severe consequence. It's like a little slap on the wrist. That, that's about it. But... I don't know, man. Like, what the fuck? Uh, I, I could, for all I know, I could com have completely misunderstood that, but I don't know. That That's just like, okay, okay. Let's just go ahead and move on. As a result of a number of Nintendo 3DS users using unauthorized versions of several games and connecting to the official game servers in violation of our terms of services, these users of Nintendo 3DS systems that stored the unauthorized game codes have been banned from Nintendo's online uh, network, effective immediately, a representative told us in a statement. Uh, okay, so is there anything else that we got going on here? Uh, well, we got some comments down here, uh, but, you know, like, I'm not gonna go ahead and go through all of them here, but if you guys are curious, uh, you know, like, about, uh, what some of these comments are saying, then I'll leave a link of this in the description box down below, you know, just for you guys to check it out. It's a pretty interesting read, to say the least, um, but, yeah, uh, what was, what was I gonna say? Yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I gotta say, actually. Holy shit, man.